Are you okay, Timaeus? Maybe you'd feel better if you just, you know, let it out. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just oh, a little glider sick, that's all. You may want to look into getting your own gliding license when you have the time. It might prove helpful to you. Uh, okay. Sure thing. It sounds like you've still got something on your mind. Why don't you tell us? We're all happy to listen. <sighs> it's nothing, really. It's just... Well, Alice's story was really interesting and romantic. I won't argue about that. But still... <sighs> The whole thing wasn't quite what I was hoping for. Of course, I didn't actually expect the supreme blessing to be real, but... <sighs> Don't say that. None of this was your fault, Timaeus. Honestly, it's more on me for having agreed to be the Wimbledon Festival Special Ambassador. Had I not asked for everyone's help, if anything... It should be my fault for finding that prophecy. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to blame the two of you either. I just feel like this whole adventure didn't really end on a high note, and we also didn't really get anything out of it. Hmm. But I'd say we still learned something new. Well, that aside, Timaeus, you still need to go to Liyue to apologize to Yingar, right? Do you want Kali and I to accompany you? Oh, Miss Ying R. Well, uh, I mean, I just really don't want her to get mad at me. Now that I've come back to my senses, oh, uh, I really don't know what I should do. Hey, you three, you may want to look over there. Huh? Miss Ying R. Oh, so that's Miss Ying R. I've never met her before. Yep, that's her. And she actually came all the way to Mondstadt. I, I am so sorry, Miss Yingar. But, but how did you... Uh, I mean... <laughs> Are you so happy just to see me? I, uh... Of course I am. I'm so happy that uh, I don't, uh... Sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I was ready to give you a harsh scolding, but now that I've seen you like this, I suppose I could let you off the hook this time. You said you couldn't come to pick me up because of a very important matter, right? Well then, of course I had to come and find you instead. <laughs> Should we go see how they're doing? I wouldn't. You'll get hit by a forest boar if you interrupt a couple's romantic conversation. Oh, really? Uh, we'll just leave them alone then. I am so glad to see Timaeus find his happiness. I have to say... I'm even more envious of you, Sucrose. You can be happy just to see others happy. And you gave me so much help without any expectations in return. Even though you said that we're very much alike, I still feel like you have a much bigger heart than I do. But if you say that, then I'd say I'm also nowhere near as brave or tenacious as you. I guess we have the same amount of positive qualities. They're just spread over different parts of our personalities. I've never visited Sumeru, or made many friends from outside of Mondstadt. I'm happy just to have met and become your friend. Maybe I'll get shy and flustered when I meet other people I don't know in the future. But that's okay too. Since we are so alike, you probably get what I'm going to say. You just need to believe that all of your issues aren't really issues at all. But... isn't it too late now for me to learn to accept myself? Uh, well... Hmm. Do you know anything about
about the blooming cycles of Cecilius? Um, I may have read about that in a book before. That's a topic that my parents used to talk about back when they were still dating. Surprising, right? To think that people would talk about that while on a date. My mom brought it up at dinner one time last month. She called my dad the most boring man she knew and said that he even turned up late to a date once, all with a smile on her face. But she also said that learning is just another part of life. It's never too late to start something, as long as you recognize that it's something good for you to do. Hmm. Why don't you give it a try, Kale? Okay, I'll try my best. They are really having a great conversation. Paimon can't even find a moment to join in! <gasps> I nearly forgot! This is for you. This texture... Are these seeds? <sighs> yep. I believe I mentioned my sweet flower research to you before. These are the seeds of the sweet flower cultivars that I've worked on. It's nothing too special, but they're the best cultivars that I've made. So, I really hope that you'll like them. They're super sweet and easy to grow and keep. I'm also submitting them as my wind blooms for this year. <sighs> I wish that the animal Archon could also see how lovely they are. Thank you. I'll plant them in the Avidia forest and take good care of them. Kale, please take these notes with you. I've heard that you've been working hard on your studies, so I've prepared some study materials for you at Sucrose's request. Feel free to look through them whenever you can find the time. Mondstadt's doors will always remain open to you. Uh, thank you so much. Really, I... <sighs> I don't know what to say. I... I'm just really happy. Now's your chance! Didn't you want to collect a breath of joy? <sighs> You're right. I almost forgot. Kali, can you exhale once into this test tube? I will save this breath of joy and use it in my research. Oh, really? May I? Of course. Huh? What? What was that? It was like a little cloud of happiness, but now it flew away. Well, luckily, there's still some breath left in the test tube. I'll seal it up for now. I'll keep working on it and let you know as soon as I have any breakthroughs in my research. Yeah, you can write to me. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I receive your letter. Oh, it looks like you found a new pen pal. Master Trinari! Sino! If your friendship was forged in a test tube, does that make you test friends forever? That's it. I think you've ruined Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. All that matters is that I've enjoyed Mondstadt immensely. The dragon here possesses a majestic form. Oh, that reminds me. Traveler? This card back is for you. Sayano wanted you to have one for yourself. If I had to guess, I'd say he probably wants you to use it if you challenge him to a duel. I'm a master of the game. Do you dare challenge me? Can you believe this guy? <laughs> Let's knock him off his high horse. W wait, I've got something to give you too. Huh? Kali has a gift for us? Yeah. I figured I should follow local mods at customs and prepared a few small things themed after the Windbloom Festival. I made these bookmarks from Samaru Roses at the hotel. I want to give them to Amber, Master Tainari, and Sino. During Windbloom, Mondsetters offer flowers to the people most important to them. You three are family to me. 
But Tainari said that we're not anything like an academic family. He wouldn't write joint papers with us. Well, in this case, we can consider ourselves as regular siblings. And that should be just fine. <laughs> I agree. Oh, and here are some potty sour seeds as well. These are for the Traveler, Paimon, and everyone else from Mondstadt. Whoa, are these really for us? So, are these your chosen Wimblums? Mm-hmm, one of them. Both potty sours and Samara roses are my Wimblums. Although they're not native to Mondstadt, they are the flowers that can best express my feelings. I want to give them to the people I feel thankful for. To those who... I wish to accompany as we greet more seasons and future wind blooms together. The real blessing in life is when you are surrounded by people who you'd miss day and night, and who you'd want to see even if that meant crossing mountains and oceans to do so. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you say that. <gasps> Sucrose, you see that cloud over there? Huh? Doesn't it look just like your test tube? Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to... One, two... 